Hello, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Taki wait, right? Taki Taki You're welcome, Harriet Kawili. Form Z223. Dala Ere. You are welcome. Good evening. Good evening. You're welcome, everyone. Good to see you all. Let me know where you're watching me from. Okay, I see Hare, Tuche, Sumi. This should be Raquel underscore T. Hold. Purity, Bernard. Aqua Crochets, right? Oh, Aqua, you're watching from Ghana. Good to have you. I know that tonight somebody's life will be changed. Harriet, you're watching from USA. Jeremiah Jr. Jr., where are you watching from? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Yeah, good to be here, too. Oh, Dalare, you're watching from Lagos. Um, Purity, you're watching from Nigeria. Where in Nigeria? Fentoski, Abimbola, Akin, Tade, and one other. Uche is watching from United States of Abia, Omaha. You know the way you sing, Abia, Omaha. If you tell me to sing it, I'm not even be able to sing it. So it's not good there. AB, Ego, AB, where are you watching from? I want you to come online and add somebody. This is where, and we, we are going to make it as interactive as possible. This is Shining Light or Morgue, right? I hope I got it correct. AB, you're watching from Abuja. Good evening. Um, Chisokoli, you're watching from United Kingdom. Good evening. You are welcome. Please come in. I believe that um, somebody's life will be changed tonight. Ifi Ume, good to have you. Good to have you, Ifi Ume. You're welcome, everybody. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Vicky B, 4410, you're welcome. Shining Light, Helen, where are you watching from? I'm excited. Please tag somebody to come. This might be a turning point for somebody. It might be the long-awaited encounter. You know what people always believe as testimony is money. When somebody gives them money. But I tell you, you will hear one thing that will... Watching from London, Abimbola Akinta, they good to have you here. Vicky B, USA, good to have you here. Please share to your friends. Send it to them on their DM. Tell them to come. Tell them that Pastor Trauma is life and tell them that it is real people, real issues, real God. And that today I have a topic I nearly missed my calling. I nearly. You're actually privileged because it's going to come out as a book. Watching from Senegal. Good to have you. You're watching from Senegal. I'm excited to have you. To see you. I like your flag. Is that green? 
green, yellow, red, symbolic. Green speaks of fruitfulness. Yellow is sensitivity, be alert. Red, of course, you know, tells us of the blood of Jesus. It tells us, speaks of danger, enemy, be, beware, don't come closer. We don't want you around, just stay where you are. Senegal, that's where you have the youngest president, right? Oh, it's Senegal. I think it's Senegal, I should be right. Please let me know if I'm right. Kings, beloved, you're welcome. Everybody, come on, come on, come on. Let's have a good time together right now. I nearly... Oh, yes, I know. How are you people? I hope you guys are happy. Deborah Miel, right? Deborah Amiel. Yeah, Deborah Amiel. Good to have you here. You are all welcome. So, precious Father, I thank you. Thank you, Father, because you are good, you are God, none like you, none besides you, none to be compared with you. We know that you, your words are here and amen, and we know that you're going to speak to us right away. And we will hear you, we will understand you in a way we've never done before. Please invite people, invite them, invite them to join us. Let them come, join us, join us, join us. Joyce Odefo appear. Joyce, are you from Ghana? Is Joyce from Ad Ghana? Oluwa Sheun Yesufu. Oluwa Sheun Yesufu, how are you? So, everybody, you're welcome. Today is real. I know because I saw up here. Ghana is a place I'm thinking about coming, but not sure yet. I don't have a date yet, but it's something I want to happen this year. So um, today is another real issues, real people, real God. Grace or Lord Tutu. Oluwa is that the is that the show that I know? Yeah, she, is that the show that I know? <laughs> she said, we can't wait to see you. Thank you. Is that the show that I know? So, um, I want us to listen because I know that we are going to be blessed. And somebody will also have a redirection. You have a redirection of... Um, your the path you're following in life and everything that happens to you i nearly missed my calling and i want us all to listen i tell you you'll be blessed you will be blessed so um first of all it started with marriage I didn't want to get married. I didn't like marriage. Coming from my background, my father wasn't a bad man. My father was rather a hero. Okay, you are not the show that I know. Okay. A hero, a king, king, when kings were kings celebrated kings 
Kings that moved with helicopter and convoy. I, I'm, I am a blue-blooded princess. Born into one of the biggest royal families in Imo State. And I, I saw royalty. Like knowing what royalty is, I saw it. I experienced it. I saw the rising, I also saw the falling. So um, the kind of marriage that I saw wasn't the kind of marriage that I wanted. And I also, um, um, I also did not put into consideration that it was a polygamous family. So I was looking for a marriage where the man would call his wife honey, sugar, saccharine, bitter cola, my baby, my love, all of those. That wasn't what I saw. It might not have been these names. Um, can these things go back a bit? I know it's... It might not have been these names that... Let us go back to reduce the shade noise. It might not have been these particular names anyway that I wanted to be called, but like pet names. I mean, marriage should be something that when you see an experience, you would want to get married. That was what I saw. I rather saw my mother bitter, saw my mother angry, I saw my mother not happy, saw my father shouted on, you know, on his wives. I saw everybody behaving well whenever the king was approaching, or whenever the king approached and all. I said, no, please, I don't want to. I want to go to school, I want to make money and help do charity, help people, and run my life. Then I ran into an Anglican priest who called his, who called his wife, honey. I said, oh, okay. I've heard that language I've not heard before. So I want to marry, but he has to be a priest. It's like they are the ones with good words. A lawyer came, became ordained like three months to marriage, to wedding. So the very first thing that happened to me was getting married, which is the reason why I'm here. You know, there are three kinds of men. You have the scavenger, you have the hunter, you have the gardener. The scavenger are those people who use your weaknesses against you. The lecturers who sleep with failing students. The man who sleeps with his maid. They eat raw. Anything goes. They don't mind. You might have a beautiful wife at home and if you see the lady, he's having an affair outside. You're wondering what's wrong with him. As long as you're a she, anything goes. The scavenger. You share your problems with them, they're going to use it against you, even though you're married. The scavenger. They are wife beaters. They don't care in, you know, giving you wounds and injuries all over your body. They will enjoy you. The scavenger. They don't say sorry. They hardly. The scavenger. They are not, they don't have mercy. It's not in their dictionary. The scavenger. They are narcissists. 
They derive joy when you're in pain. They want to talk down on you, inflicting pain on you, yet smiling. The scavenger. Three types of men, or three types of marriage. So let, let's la rather say three types of marriage, where either one, either the male or the female, could be the scavenger. Then the hunter. The reason they married you is the reason they will stop you. They got attracted because they love your shape on a trouser. Immediately they married you, stop wearing it. You don't, we don't want it anymore. Whatever a hunter does to a prey is what the hunter does in this marriage. That reason that they married you is the reason why they are there, not because they love you. You know, when a hunter goes to the bush and catches an animal, the hunter brought the animal for food. So even when you see the hunter feeding the animal, the hunter is feeding the animal for food. He's feeding the animal because he wants to slaughter the animal. The hunter. They marry you for money. That's why they are there. Until they destroy the source of that money, they will not rest. The hunter. That thing they like in you is what they have come to destroy. The hunter. When they set their arrow, they must hit target. And they will use everything possible to lure you. The hunter. They will set traps to catch you. The hunter. They will pursue you, and the more you get into the forest, the more they follow you, they keep following you. It's not because they love you, but because they want to get you for food. They are the, the men that marry their wives and use them for ritual. They are the women that marry their husbands, and then he becomes a public property. They married you for their mother, their sibling, their auntie, their cousin, their village people. They don't care if you go down. If you're going down, let's finish the money. Then you can go. They will find their way. The hunter. And then we have the gardener. He plants you. The gardener is the lady who understands that marriage is a seed. And that when a seed is planted, you give it time. You weed it, you water it, you remove um, any thorn. You are patient enough. You wait until it grows. When it's growing, you're keeping watch over it over and over again. You want to make sure that it's intact. You want to make sure that nothing goes wrong. When it needs water, you water. When it needs manure, you manure. When it needs anything, you are available. When it needs to be, you need to, you need to remove the weed, you do it. They got them. The gardener will see the potential in you and will bring it out. The gardener will give you opportunity. The gardener knows that giving you opportunity will fine tune you. It will make you better. It will give it to you. Because it will, if you're shining more than the gardener, it doesn't really matter. What matters is you rising. The gardener. You have a PhD he or she doesn't have. He's applaud, applauding you. The gardener. The gardener smiles at your success. Your success is what makes the gardener happy. The gardener is not jealous. He doesn't have envy. He's not speaking against you. He will not allow his... The gardener. The gardener understands that marriage is a roleless institution. And so anybody can play any role. After all, let's build together. Let's grow together. Let's become together. The gardener. So, everything about me started with marriage. Everything about me started with marriage. So, I nearly would have missed my calling today if I had gone my way and refused to be married. Because I didn't want to. In my own myopic understanding, that's number one. Number two, terms and conditions. For the marriage to work, I had my terms and conditions. 
had my terms, I had my conditions. He must be a man that lands. What do I mean? I don't care where he lives, so but all I know is that I want to tell my friends I'm going to the airport to pick him. He just landed. You see that word landed. Allah gada gada. If you know they land, you know be the man. You must land though. For me to know because I didn't want to live in Nigeria. I wanted to live abroad. So the man that lands is my guy. Who's your guy? The man that lands. He landed. We're going to the airport to pick him. That's the G. I want you to follow me. That's the guy we're talking about. And so when I asked my husband, do you have any plan of living abroad? How wish she said no? She did like this. In my heart, I say, you th and you think you're the one? <laughs> And never be you because I love to live abroad now I'm thinking about it so it was only London like we just landed hey that word eh? once I hear it the chemistry in my body will react the landing guy he has to be landing like when I hear we're going to the airport. My husband landed. <laughs> now, there we they go. The lander. Let's go there. And so we go to the airport and we pick him up. And then I begin to tell them, he just landed. Hey! You see how stupid I was. <laughs> now I say it and I can't stop laughing. See how stupid I was. See what I wanted. Amen. So when I asked him, do you have any plan of living abroad? He said, no. I said, hey, hey, it can never be you. It's not you. It's, it's about landing. I want a man that. Most of the times, myopic understanding, irrelevant things, are the things that has kept a lot of young ladies today. I am a victim. So that's why I'm, I, I wanted to share with you. This me you're seeing. I wanted a lander. Why would you be? I, in my heart I said, I'm like, oh, so this man is going to be in Nigeria. Day in, day out. He doesn't travel anywhere. He's not landed. Today, I am the lander. <laughs> I land. I land three times a week. <laughs> I, I remember going to the U.S. for a 10 days um, journey and I flew 11 times most times I practically live my life in the air than on here than on the ground I'm the lander so I just conditioned my mind once the plane starts taxiing I sleep that's why I love comfort in the plane I love comfort in the plane once he starts taxiing and I sleep, and if it's the class I love and I, and I enjoy, uh, you, uh, they will not pass you by, <laughs> and then you will stay hungry. They, you can actually get what you want to eat. Follow me. Oh. I told you, number one, my mindset, I don't want to get married because of what I saw. My mind concluded that everybody is the same. Because he's my father, so every man is the same. Every man will call his wife by his name. I didn't know I was wrong. Number two, my conditions, my terms, and my conditions. He has to be a lander. I think that was basically because I wanted to be, live abroad. I don't like it. You see the snow people complain about. That's my habitat. I love it. You see that wearing sweater because it, let me feel cold and hide under the duvet. I like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Heat makes me cry. 
you know the way i don't know whether you've taken um chloroquine and you know the pinching reaction of glow that's what heat does to me that's why i don't joke with ac if you want to put me in a hotel i beg you put me in a good one please I love it when everywhere is cold. I don't like heat. So I have my terms, I have my conditions. What are your terms? What are your conditions? Today I see a lot of ladies. They are the ones who did the viral. It's not correct. Oh. You are the one somebody is looking for. Your duty is to be at the well with good attitude. He will come and find you there. But now it is the ladies that are, it has to be a, that guy with macho body. Um, he has to be tall. I really don't like sharp people. He has to be um, six packs. As if you have even one pack on your own body. He has to have six parts. He has to be from this particular village and all. Just the play. Just the play. You're playing. Go and study the scriptures. How can the one they are looking for? The only thing you should, and because if you're godly and you are the well, the, a godly man will come. And when the godly man comes, show good attitude. Like Rebecca did. Spontaneously, she displayed the stuff. And the man wasn't interested in who her parents were. He was interested in testing attitude. Not tasting her. But testing attitude. He was interested in that one. And Rebecca did not fail. Close the play. He has to be from America. I really don't like American guys. I don't like lucky girl uh, guys. Lucky girl or uh, guys are uh, frustrated mainland guys. Really? Hey, I hear some certain things. I'm like, a lot of young ladies are not born again. No. He doesn't have to be living lucky or he the mainland or the uh, rubbish. Rubbish. This that doesn't have any, it doesn't add up. Um, where, where do you live in the UK? Where she hasn't crossed, <laughs> she hasn't crossed the borders of her country, but she knows all the major cities. Like um, somebody said, if you want to date me and you cannot give me one million a, a week, you're not worthy. Just the play. <laughs> just the play so you have your you have your list a guy that is looking for you doesn't have any list <coughs> excuse me you're now the one with list he will do this he will do that he will do this he will so now we have <coughs> excuse me can I have water yeah. we have um we are even complaining that we have a lot of young girls <coughs> something is irritating mine yeah we are complaining that we have a lot of young girls and the girls that we are have they are compounding issues they are compounding problems Rebecca was there Eliza said give me water she said I will not just give you water my lord really he, she did not call Isaac my lord though it wasn't that who she saw at the well was a dashing young man. Now, old man, though, most times Isaac will appear at the well in form of Eliezer. Most times Isaac might be at the well in form of Abraham. I've told you to invite people. Send the links, please. And don't leave, stay. So the ladies are the ones who, the, the things and conditions you should have should be good attitude and good character. That's all. It's not your body. It's okay.
It's not your body. I want it big. I want the back big. I want it. See, let me tell you, there are different kinds of figure. If eight is a figure, seven is a figure. If eight is a figure, ten is a figure. If ten is a figure, five is a figure. Some people have it here at the back, they don't get them. It's a figure. Some have it at the back, in front, they don't have it. That's figure. Make sure you eat well, do exercise, be healthy. Why are you give, telling God that uh, he doesn't know how to create anymore? That's what you're doing. Meanwhile, God looked at your father and your mother. And he made you the way he made you. And you want to say, I don't like my gym. Put me in another gym. But don't forget that the artificial remains artificial. The lady with the beak and back has given birth to a girl that does not have front and back. <laughs> don't you think people will, people will ask questions? Uh -uh. Is that your child? You mean she's your child? She doesn't look like you. Don't be angry that time. Don't, don't feel bad. Because you're, you're giving them the reason now to ask that question tomorrow. So let your terms and conditions be to be goodly godly. A good name. Name a good name. A good name. A good name. A good name is better than riches. I nearly missed my calling. You wouldn't even have been seeing me today. Number one, I didn't want to get married. Meanwhile, my destiny started with marriage. Number two, I had my terms and my conditions. And one of them is that I wanted a man that lands myopic reasoning. Just for saying sake, let's go pick my husband, he just landed. How now I think about it and I can't stop laughing. Now I land Monday, I land Thursday, I land sometimes. Can you push the flight? Can it be extended? I'm now the lander. Number three, career. I wanted to work in an oil company. My father would have comfortably put me there because all the oil companies in my country, basically all is resident in my town. And by the time I was growing up, there were no females. I happened to be the first graduate. I have, I have eight people older than me. My father had 40 children, seven wives. So, but I became the record breaker. So everything about me was fast, fast, fast. I said, I'm going to go to the university. This school, nobody had ever, the girl child was discriminated upon. Everything is about the boy. That was why my mother was bitter because she didn't have a surviving son. And for her, she felt like God didn't like her. So I told her what a man can do, a woman can do much better. At nine years, I used to hear Harvard, I used to hear Oxford. And my father couldn't take me there because, of course, we are plenty and it was pricey. So he couldn't take me there. But those were my certificate, one Oxford certificate today. I decided to stand tall, breaking records anyhow. You come to the village where I am married, the third road that you're going to see, God used me to attract that project and the whole road. The one that has paved the way, the one that has opened the door, the one, I mean paved the way, right? Mm. That's what it is. In where I am born, I stood tall. So I wanted to... Um, I'm working in an oil company because my life has been to make money and help people. I love to help people. That's why giving is not hard for me. Giving is not hard for me. I wanted to help people. But as we were getting ready 
for the walk. Expecting the letters. That was when the call of God started. The very first time I heard it was when I was in um, GS3. My sister took me somewhere. She went for prayer meeting. And I had to stay at the back, back, back. So the pastor came out and said, who came with that light? There's a big light shining at the back. <coughs> who came with her? Everybody was looking back. I was looking back as well. And the man said, you don't look back. I'm talking to you. This girl will be a super light in her world. When my mother was pregnant of me and encountered the woman with leprosy that needed food and my mother went and gave her food and she ate. My mother that was expecting to have a baby boy, the woman with leprosy said to her, you are pregnant and you are praying for a boy, but she's a girl. The way people run away from me is the way people will gather around her. So my, my ambition was to make money and work oil company. Then, God started speaking. Anywhere I go, I'll be saying go down. When I mean saying go down, even if there are one million, I'll be saying go down. And the things God said that time, eh? That time they looked like a mirage. But now, they haven't started coming, you know. But now I can, I will not doubt again. They sounded like, in fact, one of them, I said, ow. See how God sat this man down and told him he will not give me children. And now giving him compensation, you know, for not giving me children. So God is trying to talk to me so that I will calm down and I'll be happy. Me, helicopter, ow, where? <laughs> hey, God, I better go 2001. So everybody was speaking, there's something about you. In fact, one woman of God that came from Cameroon said, I see you getting to PhD. But in the midst of the PhD, God will pick you and use you. The PhD will rather enhance the work, I'm telling you. The choice, the person that that got me angry, and for the first time, I regretted ever getting married, was my husband. He wouldn't let me rest. Um, you're not a, 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 a don't go look for a job God is calling you don't go and be answering Sama for somebody God is calling you I said he's not calling me he's calling you he is not calling me leave me alone he said Chai, if only this girl knows who she is if only this girl has an idea only she knows who she is. He is not calling me. Leave me alone. He will go out and he will buy me books. Pastor Feto, Bishop David, Benny Hinn, all of them, any book. Because I wasn't working. I've never worked anywhere except the ministry that is going to turn 17 years on the 7th of July. It started on the seventh day in the seventh month. In 2007, with seven people by 7 p.m. It wasn't planned. Remember what the Bible talks about in uh, 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 about Noah's ark resting on the 17th day in the seventh month. We see an ark that will rest on the seventh day for our 17th anniversary. So I. I didn't want to be a pastor. Pastor who? Everybody in my family will always say she's slow to speak. She talks quietly. My life on this camera and my real life, they're not the same thing. No. They are two different things. I'm telling you. I'm somebody that people are coming and I'm looking for a way to run away. You wouldn't know I'm a very shy person. You never know. But it leaves me once I'm facing camera. Can you imagine? Which is actually the one that makes me shy. God is awesome. I didn't, I nearly, my husband called, I cried and I left him. I went and started looking for a job. I got one at the university. They said, we need 
um, but we needed 50,000. I said, who oh, give me the 50,000 Naira now? You see this one that said I'm not a secular. So I became tired. Remember, I was still childless. Mm. So I, when I came to Maya Nuni, I heard that there is my brother from my village who's li who is doing ministry here. I went to see him. Immediately I knocked and entered his office. The very first thing, he was inside and he heard a knock at the door and somebody was talking to me. He echoed from me said, Dad, open the door for whoever is coming. That is the Joyce Mayor of Africa. Meanwhile, God has already told my husband she is the Catherine Kuman of our generation. So you see why I tell you that this journey is actually about to start. It's about to begin. I said, what is happening? I said, please, that's not why I'm here. I want you to pray for me to have a child. He said, well, when I, just like when um, Elizabeth had the voice of uh, Mary, the babe in her womb, leaped for joy. And Reverend Ima said, when I heard your voice, I heard it. That is the Joyce Mayer. You know, I will use her the way I, much more if not. So what I was running away from my husband, moving into a new environment, I didn't know anybody. So all of those words will stop coming. Going now to identify myself with the only person I've heard that is my brother, the same word confronted me again. I didn't know what to do. But when men of God gather, I'll cook for them. Till today, God has given me that privilege to always gather them and host them in my house. The passion didn't start today. It started way back. This one, people complain, bringing their car to serve God. My own will go for crusade. He will go for program. By the time he's coming back, one tire is not there. Bumper is off. We will go take it to mechanic. We will not get angry. Angry how? In fact, if you get angry, I'll begin to wonder. Or somebody comes to my house, I'm not giving, or I have a visitor who is saying, don't give them food, I'm, I like it. Are you okay? Do, if we have two cars, those cars, you see, my husband um, is always good when you want to get married. Marry somebody of the same faith, who understands you. Even if the person is not the same faith, because a lot of people are married to people that are not the same faith with them, but let them not hinder you. From the, the, nothing wrong. Bible says if you can stay, you're okay. You stay, except when you can't stay, and you're okay, and they're letting you do. Because one of the worst things that will turn a good person to become bad is when the partner does not like anything that you're doing about God. They will eventually convince you, and because you want to marry, and you really don't care if it is what God said or what God. In fact, you begin to look for reason to justify what God said, I'm telling you. Anywhere I went, God was talking, God was speaking, God was talking, I'm calling you, I need you, I need you. The more they talked, the more I ran. I ran. Now I, kept, I keep asking myself, what if I kept running? This testimony I saw today, would I have seen it? Let me show you. What if I kept running? Eh? Would I have seen it? Would I have seen Lego Dino? Eh? Would I have seen it? Either the third or the third set of twins in one week. Would I have seen it? The millions of supernatural conception. Would I have seen it? I wouldn't have. I nearly missed it. Because I felt that was where life was. I felt that was where money. Vocation is not all about um, money, but it's about job satisfaction. You do it, you're happy. You're saving life, you're happy. It's not money. These other things come. They come on their own. So sometimes I ask myself, what if... It's not about nobody would have known me. I'm not that kind of person that want people to know her. But the big question, maybe I wouldn't even be alive. Maybe. I would have married that my boyfriend that wanted to marry me. 
until I encountered God. God started speaking to me, and I had a dream one day. He took me out um, to buy, you know, food. He brought out two beautiful plates, all covered. When he uncovered them, um, this is this one was fried egg. This one was um, um, pounded yam. He said, "Eat." I said, "I cannot eat fried yam, uh, um, fried egg with pounded yam. I can't. They don't go together." If you want me to eat it, get me rice for the fried egg or get me um, swallow, I'm uh, sorry, soup for the swallow. He said he knows they can't match, but I should manage. I woke up. From that day, I knew it wasn't my husband. The mother was ready to pay my bride price. Every, they nearly convinced my mother. They nearly. One day I was praying. And then the Lord said to me, if you marry him, you'll be a widow on time. Look at him in a pool of blood. I tried to speak to him. And that was actually what happened. If you know when it happened, almost like uh, four, five years after I got married. I nearly missed what I'm doing now. Because of myopic reasoning, because of other people. This person is in banking. I want to be a banker. This person is in um, is doing um, online or whatever I want to do. Is that who you are? Is that what God has made you to do? Have you discovered destiny? The day you discover destiny is your date of birth. If you discover it at 50, you are one year old at 50 years. If you get to 70, you are 20 years. The day you discover destiny. All I wanted was work in an oil, oil company, oil company. Do you know what I want for you, sir? Is God blocked every door. God blocked every door. He made sure I didn't get that oil company. This is a walkover for my mother, my father. I mean, these oil companies are resident in my community and my father is the king. And they are looking for a female. Tell me why it wouldn't work. Only maybe I wouldn't be alive today. Money would have carried me away. The gift that God has given me wouldn't be speaking till today. I would have been swallowed up in making money. Have you discovered destiny? This was my case. A man that lands. Now, finally, the baby issue. Everybody kept talking, everybody kept talking, everybody kept. I said, okay, I want to adopt. Let this thing just end. I want to. I don't want to hear. Nobody should talk to me again. So I, I went to my husband. He said, "Honey, is food ready?" I said, "Yes." He said, "Give me. Let me eat." When he finished eating, he turned to me and he said, "Honey, I am not against adoption. If I have four children, I will adopt one. If I have three, I will adopt one." I'm not against adoption. Adoption is one of the major ways God gives us children. But there is something about you giving birth and your destiny. So go and relax. Someone is coming. I said, this one should leave me alone. No problem. I will not talk. I will not get... I will not... I'm not the, the one that will. It is now that I've become, you know, preaching has made me to be talking. I went to Federal Medical Center. I saw one of my aunties, so I called her. She's late now. I told her why I came. She looked at me. She laughed. My husband and I are not eight mates. He didn't give me three years. He didn't give me four. It's not like that. He's older than me. So he said, if there's anybody that should bother, and be my, it's my brother. Choma, how old are you? I said, forget my age. I'm telling you, 18 years ago. I want you to imagine. Don't ask me how old I am. He said, Choma, how old are you? Choma, calm down. I, you've never been worried. I, this, I was never worried. I never cried. I never will. You see, tear, one tear. Mm, I don't have a child. It never happened. It was. But I wanted to adopt to prove a point. So immediately my life became democracy. Government of the people, by the people, for the people. 
So that my auntie said, when did you see a period? Okay, Choma, go home. Let's wait for it when it comes. She was using delay tactics. So I went back home that day. Went to my room. I was so excited. The excitement was, hey, finally, I'm going to adopt a baby. Let me be nursing a baby. In the morning, around 7.40 40 a.m., the man I call my guardian angel, it's actually a testimony I'm talking of. I had a, a tooth extract yesterday. I pulled my last tooth. It, 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 they had to, you know, give me the local anesthesia here. It wasn't painful. But when I came back home, so it just happened yesterday. So that I'm even talking is a super testimony. So, because for hours, the Anastasia couldn't just wear off easily. I had this tooth. Anything I eat would just get in there. It would just be there. No matter how you use toothpick, it would not. When they brought it out, I was using toothpick. No wonder I would brush and brush and brush. Me, I perceive the slightest smell. So let's go back because I felt it. So that's why I wanted to let you know. So, he came to my house. He said, where's mommy Basin? That was the name he kept calling my mother-in-law and he called me that name. I'm here because of you. May God send you that man, that woman that will always speak to you at the verge of making a mistake. I nearly missed it. Nearly. Nearly. He now came and he told me I had a strange revelation early hours of this morning. So everything that happened in the hospital, divinity put all of them on him. What did he see? I saw in a dream that I came here. And here was a beautiful glossy calendar. And men and women who stayed for years before they had children. They were celebrated on that glossy calendar. I was looking for your name and your picture, but it wasn't there. While I was looking for your name and your picture, I saw you coming out from the other room carrying a baby girl. And I said to you, if only you had waited, your name would have been among these people that are celebrated today. My husband said, Jesus. And he said, honey, what tell Reverend Olivier Bezim? Funny enough, we answer the same sonny. Tell him what you told me yesterday. So I told him. He said, Mommy Bezim, God is not there. There is something you're giving birth we do in your life. And this is a prayer I'm going to pray for everybody here. Nobody will miss it. Nobody will miss it. There is something your giving birth will do in your life. Nations will gather around you. You know those words, when I kept hearing them, I kept hearing like, how? <laughs> Consolatory words. They are telling me, so I'll be happy. But because God knows you more than you know yourself, he knows where you're going. And he wouldn't allow it. So sometimes you're the one giving yourself stress. You're the one crying. Have you asked God, this journey I am about to embark, are you in it? Are you the one? Let me know, God, where you don't want me to go. Have you asked God? Jokwa Chineke, ask him. Stay in the place of prayer. Don't move because of people, though. Don't move because of what people are saying. Don't move because of what they are doing. Anywhere you are is a fat land. God can bless you anywhere. But when God wants you to step out, 
then know that he will go ahead of you. The will of God can never take you where the mercies of God will not locate you. The will of God can never take you where his breakthroughs, super favor and mercy will not locate you. Make sure it is God leading you. Don't step out of order. Don't cross boundary. There is famine in Moabu. There is famine. There is famine in Moabu. I tell you. Where you are is the land of Bethlehem. Don't look at this momentary shaking. Don't look at this momentary shaking. Where you are is the land of bread and honey. Don't go to Moab. Moab is expensive. He lost husband, lost two sons. Moab is expensive. Be very careful. Don't go where God is not leading you. Don't go because others are going. Don't, don't want to make a move because others are moving. He has to tell God beyond reasonable doubt. You will prove to me that you are the one. Because I know that one's geographical location is not a hindrance. But there is a placement city. Place me there. If I'm already there, expand me. Establish me. May I never step out of boundary. Very important prayer. We wanted a visa for a particular nation. For my son, he didn't come. Wanted it, he didn't come. I didn't go the third time. I now started pleading, sorry, oh, hey, God, oh, I'm sorry. Do it. He did it. We needed school fees. He brought it. We needed accommodation. That one, a white man broke protocols. I never went to see, pull my son to his own. Never. It wasn't planned. Even my son didn't know I was coming. I wanted to go settle that thing and go back to Chicago where I was doing a meeting. It wasn't planned. But God went ahead of me. I said, move now. Go now. If it is God, he will lead you. Never step out of boundary. Never. Just tell God, bless me. It, when God wants to bless you, he knows where to bless you and he will take you there. So when he finished saying that, he was done, he said, Mommy, Basin, God is not there. Samuel <clears throat> is coming. He's coming. Samuel is coming. And Samuel came. That's another story. You see how God used marriage, my terms and condition, my career, and the birth of my son to bring me to become a blessing to you today. You see why you, you have to persevere. You see why you're not going to give up. You see why you need to rely on God. You don't have mates. Oh. All my mates are abroad. You don't have mates. You're mateless. You're your own. You don't have a mate. Everybody's on their own. I'm running my race. No mates. You don't have mates. Please. So that you allow God to lead you. If the God didn't correct these four major areas of my life, where would I have been? But let me announce to you that what you just heard now is a small book that is coming. I nearly missed my mandate. Now, there is no job anybody would give me. Eh? What job? If I anyone that is coming, I want to check. I, will it affect my speaking engagement? If it will, gives me joy to do what I'm doing. I'm seated in my office. 
Everywhere is my office. I'm not accountable to anybody except to God and my spiritual leaders. No, what I mean is, you didn't come by this time, you came by, I need to take permission to go and do the work of God. I need to do this. And God gave me somebody who understands. In fact, it was him that God spoke to. It was my husband. So if there's anything, God is him. Is him that God, so it's not even me. But I wanted to go my way. My way was oil company. My way was to stop everybody from just disturbing me. Let them stop talking. I don't, it wasn't disturbing me, but like coming to talk to me. I, I just didn't want anybody. Let me adopt. What if I had gone ahead and adopted that time? It wouldn't have been, someone wouldn't have come the minute because it was the birth of someone that started the ministry. And here we are today. Follow God. Follow the way he's leading you. You're not in a competition with anybody. Are you like me? What are you going through? Everybody has left you. They need to leave you alone so that you learn how to walk alone. When they gave birth to you, you were not Siamese. So let them leave you behind. Follow them. So that by the time you arrive, they will usher you in. There's no competition. There's no award in who arrives early. Oh, Choma arrived early. Uche is arriving late. Nothing like that. Any day you wake up is your morning. So you stop kidding yourself. They have built houses you have not built. Go and copy styles. Pattern. Go and look at the roof. See the way they built. Draw your own. When you will build, you bring together um, auditorium of Elijah, um, that of Elisha, that of Nehemiah, that of John the Baptist, that of um, um, Paul. Bring all of them together. Then give us, send down the rain. Why are you killing yourself? When they, they, they brought out that car and they said, end of discussion. Hey! Any man that did not buy end of discussion for the wife hated the wife. Before we could say, Jack, discussion continues. This thing, they continue. Hey, don't kill yourself. It continues. It doesn't stop. So don't give yourself stress. These are real issues happening in the lives of people. Indecision. I want to ask you a question. That thing you're doing, why are you doing it? That you want to travel abroad? Why? Somebody gave me his passport. Pastor Chema, please, I want you to pray for me. I want to travel abroad. Abroad. I said to do what? She said anything I find. I said I don't pray like that. I don't pray like that. I don't. Tell me that God is sending you. I'll lend my voice. Not this one, anyway, is a way. When you get there and I have a problem tomorrow, you say, even Pastor Choma prayed. I'll come and um, uh, be what I, I don't know about. That thing you're doing now, that thing you're doing now, why are you doing it? That decision you're about to take now, why? The one you've taken, why? Isn't it what you would have handled, controlled? Why? Are you sinless? Some people say these are men of God. They shouldn't be. You are a man of God as well. Are you not a man of God? Man of God, child of God, woman of God. They are the same. Anybody can go astray. Instead of you to count it against them, pray for them. Pray for them. I'm releasing a video on the on DNA test. By the time I sampled opinions of men, I actually discovered that most of the people who say I'm born again are not born again. No. Some things will hit you, bam, you will see the real nature we speak. You think born again is easy? It's not easy. Go out, let somebody woes you slap. And then you remember scripture. Give your other cheek. 
<laughs> you think born again is easy? You give your other cheek. That's what the Bible says. Turn and say slap. The person say the person now starts doing like this. You want me to slap you? And that's the sharpening. Sharpening his palm. <laughs> By the time he shuffles the palm, another one is slap. Somebody said there's a slap that will land your face. You will start talking to air and start asking people, Should be you there here now? I don't do this one anything. Be why there's nobody. <laughs> See, my daughter here, she wants to, she wants to laugh out her, her eyes. You will start talking to me. Why is a downloaded slap? They downloaded it from the internet. <laughs> How to slap. Special slap, special. Remember, we celebrated a unique slap recently. Special slap. You think born again is easy? No, let somebody slap you on the road. Say, come, come, come back. Sorry, the other cheek. By the time you get home, swollen cheek. They need ori, orisha butter with rum. <laughs> you put, you gargle inside and then use it on your face. Born again is not. Is for mature minds. A lot of people are not mature. Maturity is not age, it's not height, it's not title. None of this. Let me take your questions right away. I've shared to you how marriage, my career, my epic understanding, my terms and my conditions, having a baby would have hindered me from being the real me that God created. And you know what? Nobody can be mere, mere than me. <laughs> Nobody can be you than you. Let's abuse grammar. Nobody can, uh, me, me, the me in me, you wouldn't have been seen, been seen today. But because I didn't miss it, I aligned well. And today, I'm a blessing to you. And so all of you here, you will align well. Sometimes it's not what you want. 90% of the time, it's not what you want. But all oh, it is your want. But what you need is what you need. So pray for your needs, not your wants. I want, I want, I want. Do you know somebody wants clothes but needs paracetamol? That's what you need. she needs. She's having her head is paining her. She needs paracetamol to to take it and cool. But she's she wants clothes. So most times it's what we need, what we need, what we need, what we need. Nobody is talking about uh, what we want and not what we need. But life is about your needs, not your wants. So let's talk. If you want to appear on my video, I'm going to bring you right now. A case where you have had issues. By next um, month, week, we have guests. We're going to have guests. So can I take your questions, your contributions? I, ask me that question. I have like... Um, maybe 10 minutes to answer and then we talk. Anybody, or oh, you are so blessed that you don't you don't have any 
any question that would that would be so beautiful okay i'm happy how were you able to manage your home and minister <laughs> Oh, God. Do you know that after pulling my tooth yesterday, still in that pain when the Anastasia had disappeared, when the Anastasia had disappeared, my family, my son is not here, he's in school abroad my daughter came back she's schooling in another city she came back my husband is here i have people around me what did i do i went down to the kitchen because i believe i cook better right i'm a good cook very fantastic cook we needed to cook I went downstairs and in a few minutes, when they must have assisted me to get things done, I went and made okra and uba. I don't know whether you like. Eh? My daughter said she's the one that she's in the very tasty meat. Anyway, I give it to you. Very tasty meat. Ella is 13. When Ella was 10, she started taking care of herself. So, um, I actually do not know. I don't know how to answer this question, but the truth of the matter is that none is lacking behind. My home is not lacking behind. My husband does not have that, that regret that of oh, ministry, ministry, she doesn't even care whether her home exists or not. No, we don't have that kind of language at all. I am fully in the home, fully in my kids like over hundred percent fully available available you know most times people think i'm not always around so like they'll see me in mauritius today and in their mindset i am still in mauritius so when they now see hear me again say oh abuja they are like how so from the time they saw me in Mauritius, I might told them I was there. I'm not going to let you know when I'm coming back. I'm not going to let you know how long I'm going to stay before I go over to another meeting and all of that. So it's been, um, can I say it's challenging? Not really, because I am in my habitat. I'm doing what gives me joy. I love cooking. I love, um, when it comes to the house, I prefer, I don't like load in the house. If it's a bedroom, I want bed in the room. That name, bedroom, bed in the room. If it's a kitchen, any pot I haven't used for one year, fling it, throw it away. I have that mindset. If I have a car and I haven't used it for a year, why is it packing in my house? So it's left for me, uh, the house should be because when the house is less cumbersome you will not have rats you will not have anything looking for a place to come and hide so god has actually been helping me i've never traveled out and i'm coming back and i will go upstairs immediately no never, never. Straight, to the kitchen. straight to the kitchen sometimes my husband will see me after one hour Sometimes she'll come downstairs. Oh, honey, food is, oh, she's back already. Well, she, he'll be the one that picked me anyway. Uh, she's done already. But if for any reason it's not available and I'm picked up, the way we know that I'm back is when he's called to come and eat. And they know I'm coming back, so they'll get everything ready. I, Nami, go enter kitchen. Uche is here, ask her. Yes, ma'am. So if I feel the house is dirty, I need to, I call my people and they come, they assist me. If you ask them, they will tell you that we're always arranging bedroom. We're always arranging, because I just want it to be neat and all. So in that area, eh, it can only be the grace of God, because I don't know how I am able to do that. Please, ma, does spirituality really matter when choosing a life partner? Yes! 
Yes, 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 yes. Is. One zillion, yes, 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 yes. All the yes in the world. I needed to answer you that way. <laughs> I know you got me. God bless you, but my request is what would you do if God asked you to stop walking? Please, I want to make sure it's God that spoke to you. And I want to make sure you're used to hearing God. Because God will not ask you to stop walking and then you start begging tomorrow. It's, it was not God do. He will make provision. And please, I'm calling you. We don't have what to eat. I was on my own. God said you stop. I've seen such cases several. Please make sure you have the, the hearing ear. And that the person speaking is God. If it is God, he will make provision. You will never for a day regret. Like, you can't see me regret. Look at what this my puppy is doing. Arranging my clothes, using it as a duvet. You will never see me, oh God, why did you bring me? in like, How? I'm happy. In fact, I get angry when things are not done well. When we're not okay. So I need to make sure that you are used to hearing God, number one. Number two, I need to make sure God spoke to you. Number three, what did he tell you to fall on? What did he tell you to fall on? I need to know what he told you to fall fall into. Please, you have to tell me. Okay? In a case where you have waited for marriage and prayed and you are seeing a kind of a pattern, like in a family, five daughters within 40s and 30s and seems the same thing is happening to all the five sisters, what really can be done? Please, you would. this thing should be noticed immediately. Don't wait for it to get to five. Don't even wait for it to get to three. If it has happened before, attack it. So now it's obvious it's a family pattern. So please, have you trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? You should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Please seek spiritual counseling. Seek your senior pastor. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. So please go to them. Okay. Uh, exactly. Okay. Whoever wrote this, um, Nkiru is my, um, my assistant. And there were five girls, no marriage. There are seven in number. Five girls, no marriage. I brought her on this real issues real people real god and go to youtube and watch it is there pst show my business phd and subscribe please um ledim underscore lady please um go to nkiru nkiru's number is can you call the number for me zero okay. zero mm -hmm. Okay. Let me call this. Zero eight zero. Okay. Three eight eight. Three eight eight. Zero zero. Zero zero. Six zero eight. Call it again. Zero eight zero. Three eight eight. Zero zero. Six zero eight. Okay. This is Nkiru's number. So reach out to her. Yeah, that's her number. Reach out to her. She would guide you. I'm currently studying in the UK and got married last year. But since 2021, he asked me to stop working. Is he providing enough for everybody? Why did he say you should walk? Is there any insecurity anywhere? Is he threatened? Is your money a problem? Are you making money? Is he is a counseling? I need to know all of this. 
if his money is okay and he's taking care of all of you well enough and he's taking care fine and good but even at home please be productive don't keep quiet don't keep quiet he doesn't want you to work for others start working for yourself all of those things you give to baby start producing them it's not good to be i don't know there is there is this money called she she money she money saved Nebal. Nebal would have died in the hands of David. David would have slaughtered him because of the way he treated the servants of David. But she money saved that man that day. She money is powerful. She money made Solomon to marry Queen of Sheba. You know Queen of Sheba that went to see Solomon, left Solomon's house as a married woman, heavily pregnant. She had wealth. She money will give you access. So he will even give you voice in your home. As long as you're not using it against anybody, she money is important. Hallelujah. Amen. I know you've been blessed and I know watch it again. It's going to be saved um, just for a few minutes and then you go watch it on YouTube so that um, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and watch it there. We'll just leave snatches of it for you here. I pray, please, ma. Why I ask that question is because there is someone that wants to get married to me. He's a devoted Christian, very committed, but doesn't believe in speaking in tongues and long prayer. No, you can, one of the ways, the speaking in tongues is an evidence to show that we have the Holy Ghost. What is left for us here on earth is the Holy Spirit. Jesus ascended, the Holy Spirit came. So believing in speaking in tongues is very good. From not believing in speaking in tongues to not believing in going to church, to know which one is long prayer. Do people engage in long prayer? You pray as the Spirit leads you. There's nothing like long prayer, but you pray as God is leading you. So if God is leading me to pray, the Holy Ghost is praying through me, and we're praying for the church, we're praying for the government, we're praying for the leaders, we're praying. before we pray for the family, he gets angry. Can't you see that two cannot work together? Except they be agreed. I hope I've answered you. I see no mommy. No mommy. I mean God asked me to stop working, not my that's what I'm saying. You I didn't say your husband. The, uh, two questions it, it has come before. Why did God tell you? Well, I asked you, what are you falling back to? What did God tell you? Are you used to hearing God? How did you know it is God? Because God cannot tell you to stop working. And you, you will now, he will now allow you to start begging Angela. Charles, and when they don't give, you'll be angry. So if God tells you stop, he's going to make provision that you will not be a burden to anybody. Do you understand? So make sure you hear God. Make sure, because a lot of people say, God told me to stop working. I don't know this thing now. I, I, can you, I cannot even eat. Can you give me 10,000? It doesn't work that way. If it is God, then he will give you reasons. I need you to give me time now. And you can't be giving God time and be looking for food. You can't be giving, so somebody's not balancing it somewhere. Do you get that? Okay. Purity said, I don't know what to do. What, do, what are you trying to say? No marriage, you're getting older. Can you get pregnant? Who said that? Um, no marriage, you're getting older. Can't you get pregnant? Who said that? Is that a comment? Um, Coco, please, who is Coco? Don't listen to this advice. Can you get pregnant? How do you mean? For who? Who is the pregnancy for? You see how people mislead people. Except you're saying something else I don't know. So I want to know what Coco is saying. No marriage. You're getting older. Can you get pregnant? Remove. Remove Coco from this life. Please don't, don't, don't listen to such advice. Get pregnant for who? That's how they come and cause problem. And you follow them. Please stay on. Nothing is wrong. Instead of you to go and sin and get pregnant 
And every day the child is asking, who is my father? You don't have a word to say. You have, uh, it, it, it just keeps going. Please, you can adopt a baby. Mm -hmm. Four ways to have children. Adoption, legal surrogacy, IVF, getting pregnant to yourself. Those are the four ways to have children. Hallelujah. And don't be desperate and purity. Um, you can reach me, please, ma. Why I ask, but doesn't believe in me. Hey, hey, there's nothing like you don't know what to do. You, it sounds like you're already in love, and you don't. What do you mean you don't know what to do? You, they fit. You're not. Um, find out why. The reason is because a lot of times uh, people get involved in this, and and it backfires on them. Is it that God or it's not God? Is that is God or it's not God? So please go back again to your drawing board, and and talk. you should. There's no confusion anywhere. Nobody should be confused. It's clear and straightforward. No, no, no. She said you're not married. You don't have a husband. Why can't you get pregnant? Can't you get pregnant? For who? I asked and there wasn't an answer. For who? And this kind of question comes all the time. That's wrong. Please don't take it. People suggest it and minister to your head. You run with it and get into trouble and they will go their way. I want to pray for everyone here. I want to pray. You will not miss it in life. We've spent one hour, 30 minutes already. Yeah. You can't get pregnant if you're not married. For who? I want to bring out a child that tomorrow I will begin to fight with emotional problems, identity crisis, causing problems more. Um, you know, increasing the... No, don't listen to such advice. So I pray that nobody... God didn't allow me to miss it. You will not miss it. Mm -hmm. He didn't allow me to miss it. I pray you will not miss it. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I pray that God will lead you. Mm -hmm. That trap that the enemy has set mm -hmm. for you to fall in, you will never fall in it. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. God will bring you out to that clear road. He will bring you out to that refined road. He will bring you out to that clear road. He will mm -hmm. bring you out to that road where what he has told you to do will be very clear to you. Mm -hmm. You will not make a mistake. You will not be a victim. You will not be a sacrifice. Amen. Your gift will begin to shine out. Your, your talent will begin to speak. Your calling, your mandate will surface in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray that the hand of God takes you over. Amen. I pray that God's mercy will envelop you. Amen. May you experience the mercy of God. May the mercy of God go before you ahead of you, behind you, all around you, in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. And I pray for all the people here who want to get married, may God order your footsteps in the name of Jesus. And I pray for all those who are looking for the fruit of the womb. The God who made me to be a mother of two today will also do the same for you in the name of Jesus. I command every yoke to be broken. 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 May we hear your testimonies this year amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. I surprise you. I await your testimonies. Testimonies, testimonies. I wait your testimonies. Please always give offering. We give offering whenever we come. Please. God bless you all. 
Are you are you around Omar here? Please meet us at um, Tatinai Finbas Road, opposite Market Square, Saturday, 2 p.m. Saturday, 2 p.m. We're going to have an amazing time in the presence of God. Amazing time. Get ready, get set for something beautiful to happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. The read post the offering to Is it pink? Okay, I haven't seen it. Yes, you will testify. Okay, so let me give you a few minutes. To take on the offering details. Love you all, and I want to hear your testimony shortly. Have a beautiful night in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Should be everybody. You've all gotten the offering details, right? I guess so.